Welcome to our exciting new track. In this video, you'll learn about Acronis Disaster Recovery Cloud, powered by the Acronis Data Cloud, an innovative data protection platform designed for managed service providers, cloud resellers, and telcos. This module might be especially beneficial for those service providers who would like to strengthen their current portfolios and enrich them with highly in-demand services to boost customer loyalty and earnings. So let's get started. The notion of disaster recovery is based on two concepts, failover and failback. Failover is the process of switching to a redundant or standby physical or virtual machine upon the failure of the previously active physical machine. In turn, failback is the process of restoring operations to the primary physical machine after they've been shifted to a secondary machine during a failover. Disaster recovery includes the replication and hosting of virtual or physical servers to provide failover in the event of a man-made or natural catastrophe. This process is often performed by a third party. According to Gartner, disaster recovery as a service has already become a mainstream service offered by service providers. By 2021, its market is expected to grow 6.5 times and reach $11.1 billion. As regards the pricing models, Gartner anticipates that the pay-as-you-go business model for disaster recovery as a service will dominate the more traditional subscription-based models already by 2018. There are two popular beliefs about outages. Firstly, that they're caused by just natural disasters such as hurricanes and earthquakes. And secondly, that it's pretty unlikely that it's going to affect you. But let's face the statistics. According to the well-known and reliable sources such as actual tech media, the number of companies that experience at least one outage this year has increased 9% as compared to the previous year and has reached 46% overall. Moreover, 94% of business outages are related to power loss, hardware failure, software updating, and accidental data deletion, and not to the natural disasters. Regardless of its cause, even a small outage can be very painful for companies of any size, both in terms of direct costs, such as decreased earnings, and indirect effects, such as the company's image deterioration and increased churn rate. According to the search engine research and actual tech media portals, the average outage lasts 2.2 days and can cost a small or medium-sized business from $40,000 to $256,000. Moreover, according to recent published reports by the National Archives and Records Administration in Washington, 93% of companies who have lost their data center for 10 days or more during a disaster file for bankruptcy within one year after the disaster. Disaster recovery technologies are targeted at the following types of companies. One, companies who rely on mission-critical applications and data. Two, companies that are subject to strict compliance requirements. Three, companies acting as partners in rigorous supply chain management. Four, Companies that are located in disaster prone areas. Five, companies that do not have sufficient human resources with strong data protection skills to ensure a high level of business continuity. Six, companies heavily re relying on IT for business functions. And seven, companies that do not have sufficient disaster recovery experience. This covers a wide range of industries starting from financial services and healthcare up to construction and transportation and many others. Wait, wait, wait. Haven't we already learned all this already? In previous modules, we talked about backup technology and its underlying concepts. In particular, we defined backup as a process of copying a file or folder or volume on a various storage device for the purpose of recovery in the case that the original data is accidentally or intentionally erased, damaged, or destroyed. Therefore, the concept of backup assumes that all the backed up data will be restored at some point. So why can't we use those default recovery capabilities and need one more recovery mode. The point is that standard backup recovery and disaster recovery have different underlying technologies and target audiences. From the viewpoint of technology, standard recovery is based on cold storage, whereas disaster recovery uses hot storage. Cold storage is information that you don't need to access very often. It represents inactive data that doesn't need to be accessed for months or even years. In turn, hot storage is data you need to access right away. The goal of standard recovery is to protect corporate data from loss. In contrast, the key function of disaster recovery is to perform a fast recovery after a disaster and ensure a high level of availability of business-critical applications. 
The targets for standard recovery are servers, workstations, and mobile devices, whereas disaster recovery is aimed at business-critical applications and servers. To summarize, disaster recovery shouldn't be treated as yet another recovery mode that is more sophisticated and expensive as compared to standard recovery and is only targeted at a privileged network of elite clients. Moreover, it shouldn't be seen as a substitute for standard recovery. Both recovery types can be beneficially used within one company. For instance, standard recovery can be used for file-level recovery of Windows machines, whereas disaster recovery can be used to restore servers and business-critical applications such as e-commerce websites or Acronis Active Directory. Acronis Disaster Recovery Cloud is a service provided within the Acronis Data Cloud, an innovative platform targeted at managed service providers, cloud resellers, and telcos. It lets managed service providers protect their customers' critical workload by instantly recovering their critical IT systems, applications, and data utilizing the Acronis Cloud infrastructure. Acronis Disaster Recovery Cloud is natively integrated within another service provided within the Acronis Data Cloud platform namely the Acronis Backup Cloud. This integration allows managed service providers to utilize the same agent, web console, replication, backup storage, and cloud infrastructure. As a result, adding disaster recovery service to an MSP's backup service only takes a matter of minutes. Moreover, it allows much faster deployment of the disaster recovery solution on top of the Acronis Backup Cloud and easier management. Finally, it reduces network resources consumption, cloud and local storage, and computing resources. The Cronus Disaster Recovery Cloud has numerous advantages. First, due to its support of all major corporate workloads, it can be a single disaster recovery and backup solution for an entire small business or medium enterprise. Second, it does not require any capital expenditures or significant training time to start selling the disaster recovery services, and is easy to use because of its intuitive and user-friendly interface. Third, it's a complete business protection solution. Along with backup and disaster recovery services, it also offers advanced ransomware protection based on artificial intelligence. Fourth, it is a very simple pay-as-you-go licensing model with just three billing items. Fifth, it inherits all the Acronis Data Cloud functionality for managing customer accounts. For instance, managing second and third level business partners and clients within complex organizational structures. You can get more information about the Acronis Data Cloud user interface and its capabilities in a separate video. Sixth, it offers coherent upselling opportunities for Acronis Backup Cloud resellers, with almost no time and money needed to deploy the disaster recovery solution since the service utilizes all the same components as the Acronis Backup Cloud. You can add another layer of data protection for your customers in minutes and offer highly demanded, high margin disaster recovery services. Finally, Acronis Disaster Recovery Cloud is hosted by Acronis, which makes the life of the service providers much easier. It allows partners to provide full feature disaster recovery solutions without maintaining their own recovery site. Well, that's it. We'll see you at the next track.